is a firecracker. Phenomenal actress. She's great. Good-hearted person. Really smart. She's got an amazing smile. Sweet person. She has such incredible talent and range. I'm Lauren Collins, and this is my life, unscripted. Hey, welcome to my house. Come on in. All right, when I'm not in my bedroom, you can probably find me in here. I just like to chill out and watch movies. Love movies. Ah, uh, the embarrassing baby picture. Truth comes out, I'm not a natural blonde. And yeah, this is uh, my parents' pride and joy. It's a collection of all the stuff I've been in. It's all the episodes of Degrassi and another show I did before that in a heartbeat and different TV movies and stuff I've been in. Ah, this is my favorite spot, but it is not complete without my childhood clown covers that I love and my mom kills me whenever I leave them out when company's coming over because they're totally old and totally ugly, but it's just a little piece of my childhood and it's very comforting to me. <laughs> Alright, well I just moved down to my basement. This is my old room. I'm not officially moved out. All my favorite things are still up here, like my shoes, my clothes, and this is my life. These are all my favorite CDs from Usher. I just saw the concert. It's amazing. These ones at the end are the ones I'm listening to the most right now. It's Dave Matthews, Franz Ferdinand, James Taylor, Aubrey Graham likes to keep me up to date on the hip hop scene because I'm not that cool. And if you saw the last episode of Degrassi Unscripted, then you might recognize this, Mind the Gap. I've got a Jake Epstein original there and it's awesome. I love it. And those are my CDs. If there is one thing you need to know about me, it is that I love clothes and I love style. So, welcome to my closet. I'm a pretty casual dresser. I'm also a sweater girl. I love colors. You can see all kinds of stuff. My very favorite jacket. It's total vintage rocker. That's why I feel very uh, hip and cool when I wear it. The ripped jeans. Fun little hippie skirts. This is a funny little find. I've yet to wear it, but it's pretty appropriate. Pajamas only, I swear. I just took over the basement, and it's very cool because it's like having my own apartment. Check this out. I decided to do something kind of creative with some pictures I really like. Best friends, more friends, more friends. That's another friend of mine. This is Jake and I at Justin Timberlake and Cameron Diaz and Ashton Kutcher. I'm a big Justin fan. He's uh, obviously very talented, but he's also really hot, so. Hi, Mom. Hey, I'm hungry. My big thing is my salad that I make every day. The lettuce, peppers, cucumber. And oh, just like sprayed myself in my dressing. This is the gross part. I'm allergic to peanuts, but I still love other nuts like pecans. Voila! Looks disgusting, but tastes amazing. When I was really little, I was a really, really outgoing kid. I was a total ham. I loved attention. She started with dance, was the first formal activity that she took. Uh, she really loved that because her first, uh, she was about three, I think, and her first ballet teacher was wonderful and they, they had a report, it was amazing. And then when I was in grade four, um, a community theater group came to my school and a teacher suggested that I try it. She thought that it might be good for me because that was also sort of when I was still kind of in my shell. And I started it and I loved it. She wanted to go back the next year and she was in each one of the plays for about six years straight. I did theater camp too once I realized that I really liked theater. They took, did things like the history of theater, they, they talked about criticism, they talked about, uh, you know, the, yeah, even the, the actual mechanics. She did some crew work, she learned how to work the lights, she, you know, that kind of thing. So she loved crewing, by the way, being on the crew was, she loved that. Guys and Dolls was one of the last plays that I was in, and it was probably my favorite play that I've ever done. It was a really great cast. I was working with all my friends. We were all so close then, and I loved doing it. 
First audition for Degrassi, the way I remembered it was quite different than other auditions that she'd been on. Um, I think it's because she wasn't given sides or, or, or part of a script. It was uh, done as a monologue. When I got the monologue for my audition for Paige, I was laughing hysterically because it was just so funny and she was it, like, it, she was so mean and just so catty. You know, it's good to be friends with Ash. She keeps me in the public eye. Sort of hit home about some of the kids that she knew at school, so I think that's, it rang true. Being Ashley's friend is like an investment in myself. Up until then, I was always playing like the goody-goody or like the, the nerdy girl or whatever, so it was so much fun to just sort of let all that out. And believe me, it'll pay off. When I told Lauren that I just heard from her agent that she got the part in Degrassi, she was so excited. She was thrilled. I was at my friend's house, actually, and my mom called me, and I was so shocked. And my friends were all like, oh my god, I loved Degrassi Junior High. I can't believe you're going to be on the new one, because they all love the old show. So it was totally, totally a shock. I was, I was very surprised, but it was, it was really happy. It was good. The main uh, benefit uh, that Lauren has had from acting um, aside from the great experiences she's had, is that she's learned to manage time incredibly. I mean, I wish I could manage my time the way she does. One thing I have to really thank my parents for is they understand that I have, like, a full-time load with work. And, I mean, also when I was in school, that was even harder. So they're pretty good with, you know, letting things slide, like if I don't make my bed and if my room isn't always perfectly neat. I guess the best compliment I've ever had about Lauren is that she's grounded, which is good. Uh, not necessarily just because she's an actor, but I think she sort of doesn't take herself too seriously and keeps things into pr perspective, which I think is great. And uh, I I'd rather hear people say that about her than anything else. Okay, I've got work to do, lines to learn, to get up early. Driving usually around 6.30 in the morning because I have to get here the earliest because I take the longest in hair and makeup. <laughs> Jake Goldby, you Hi. may know him as Toby, Undergrass of the Next Generation. Oh, and Aubrey Graham, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Hi. Barbs, I know. I know. <laughs> I go through like three bottles of these a day. A week. <laughs> That's very yeah, this is for our Degrassi website. All kinds of questions that they gather from the fans about stuff they want. So smooth the question, or chunky? The question I was like, smooth, dot, 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 whatever that means. I like that one that was like five people you would want to yeah, eat dinner, dinner with or whatever. What'd you say? Bob Marley, mm -hmm. uh, John Lennon, uh, Coco Chanel, uh, <laughs> um, Jennifer Aniston and Johnny Depp. Driving usually around 6.30 in the morning because I have to get here the earliest because I take the longest in hair and makeup. Because <laughs> um, it's a big change from uh, Oh Natural Lauren to uh, Pumped Up Paige. <laughs> so <laughs> then I finish getting changed. And then usually that's when everyone else is getting here. <laughs> and then we go down and block our first scene. I think after working together for four years, it was sort of inevitable that we were all gonna kind of form this little Bond family. Uh, yeah, some of my best friends are here, and I love them, and I would do anything for it's them. Better. I feel it's it's the same thing tonight, as right? your friends in high school, because it's almost the exact same setting. I feel almost closer to these people, Semi just because we've been through so much together. Do you get champagne too? I'm probably closest with Hi. Stacey Farber, who plays Ellie, um, Aubrey Graham, who so plays calm. Jimmy, and Andrea Lewis, who plays Hazel. They're probably my best friends on set. And Jake Epstein. Oh, can't forget Jake. I love Jake. <laughs> She laughs a lot, and she's just a really good person. I mean, together, we always, we can gossip together, we can act together, and it's great because she knows when to 
be serious if we're in a scene and, you know, the time calls just to really get in the mood. She's very good like that. She's not, like, talking and fooling around still. She just, she knows how to turn on that professionalism. <laughs> Hello, it's Watermelon. Lauren and I have become really good friends. She's one of my best friends. Um, I talk to her every day. We talk on the internet and I call her. We talk about shopping and boy problems and everything. She's a really great friend. And voila! All right, now I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour. Come on. All right, this is where all the dressing rooms are, where we hang out, and I need to finish changing, so I'm going to go do that. In my dressing room, which I share with Andrea Lewis, who plays Hazel. As you can see, it's kind of sparse. <laughs> we don't really have much in here. Um, but yeah, oh, here's a picture Kathy drew for me. I think it's supposed to be of me. I'm not really sure. <laughs> This dressing room is like usually the place to be at lunch. Everyone sort of comes in here and this is where we hang out all lunch hour. I'm not really sure why it's, ours has been uh, chosen as the one to be in, but uh, it's always been like that since like season one. This is where everyone's chilled. So funny. And the final product, minus the shoes, which are mine. <laughs> Welcome to the Halls of Degrassi. Just like any other school, um, minus the lighting gear and crew gack. Here is our mall set, and you can see the uh, crew is just getting ready to eat lunch here. The movie theater's back there, and this leads to the... the gym, which doesn't really make sense when you see it like this, but... Uh, you got, just pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> you can see a lot of stuff happens in here. Go Panthers. <laughs> okay, we so need something to wear. And here we have the foyer. It's the boys change room. We can't go in there. Oh, this is pretty cool. Here's our beautiful Degrassi mural, which uh, for you big fans out there, you'll probably notice that it's different from the one that was there in season one because we had a contest and a viewer drew that and uh, got to have it made for the show. So that's pretty cool. Somebody get it! And lunchtime is hockey time. <laughs> and they're all looking for the ball! Yeah, wait, yeah. wait. They went Guys, action. Maybe you shouldn't go for it. Shh. Yeah, Barcraft, 8 o'clock. Sounds great. See you there. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to the Lauren Cam. Hi. All right, we're outside on the uh, Degrassi lot. See that scratch people? That's where Lauren backed into a car, because Lauren's an idiot. Hello! Yeah. Look at Lauren. Hey, Lauren. That's Phil. <laughs> Wait, it's too short. Our great director. How do I get in? What are you doing? This is Phil, our favorite director. <laughs> Lauren is another one of the actors who, who has the potential to be a really good, serious actor. Um, she can look at a page of dialogue uh, come in for and for the scene or for the rehearsal and and really have thought about it and really understand where that where that character is going. Peace. See you later. She's there. <laughs> Lauren is actually one of the the strongest young actors I've seen. She has such incredible talent and range to take a character like Paige and put her through the emotional depth that that character has gone through in four seasons is beyond most actors regardless of their age. Hi guys. Gross me green, like totally. Paige is a funny character because a lot of girls just get the cattiness of it, they don't get the fun, but she had this snide, catty, diva thing down and she made you love her for it. You didn't hate Paige for it, you were it amused straight. by her, which was a really rare quality. Come on. It's gotta be hard watching your ex-boyfriend fall madly in love with my brother. Aaron Martin!
<laughs> Lauren just had so much energy and she's so funny and she, she can read everything in so many different ways. And Lauren has taken probably a character that could have been the most two-dimensional and made it into the most three-dimensional on the show. Lauren has has created Paige and, and fully fleshed her out, which is a big feat because Paige could have just been a valley girl knockoff. Excuse me, Mr. Simpson, but gum on chairs is disgusting and illegal. So again, this will be a version. Print that, please. I think Degrassi is a cultural phenomenon because it's real. It's the kids look real. Like we're not all we don't all look like we have eating disorders and we're not all stick thin and in like ridiculously expensive clothes. It's nice, I think, for kids to have something that they can actually relate to and real stories that have realistic ways of dealing with the problems. Yeah, what do you know about rape? I researched it. I know a lot more about it than you do. <gasps> Paige, just leave me alone, okay? It's just the issues that we talk about. They're really, really sensitive. They haven't been tackled by a lot of TV Your shows, and I guess we just want to do them justice. Spinner, stop. What, he deserves it. Spinner, please! Water boy and boyfriend? I have one thing to say to you, Dean. Get ready, because I am coming after you this time, not like Spinner or the mascot. For real. I got my license, we call it a G2 here in Canada, where I can actually drive in November. It's a big day in my life. Having a license has been, it's totally changed my life. <laughs> it's, so, it's so different. I can just go out whenever I want, and I don't need to worry about getting rides from my parents, and all that jazz. I love it. <laughs> the one thing I'm scared to do is drive on the highway. I don't know, it's the merging at high speeds. It kind of frightens me a little bit. <laughs> Kensington Market, a really hip district in Toronto for some vintage shopping. And these are my best friends, Rachel, Lori, and Ainsley. <laughs> I want a leather jacket. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> How cool are those? I love finding vintage clothing at Kensington because you know no one else is going to have it. It's going to be completely original and different, not like just any chain store where everyone ends up buying the same thing. And yeah, my friends are, they're all the same way, so we love to borrow each other's clothes. It, we're all kind of the same size, so it works out nicely. And the prices are just so cheap on vintage clothing, and you can find such better things than you would find in a regular store, so it's good. These are so you. <laughs> Rachel, I don't know why I just thought of you. Oh my god, buy a hammock for your room. How cool would that be? Laura, in her spare time, either hangs out with her friends or goes to movies or definitely goes shopping. All Lauren does in her spare time is shop. <laughs> Every day, I think. Maybe. Hold on, move. What is it? I thought I said Dino Mania. That is so it's like cool. Almost Jackie out. My friends hardly ever talk about acting to me, which I think really helps me stay grounded. Sometimes Lauren's recognized for being on Degrassi. It's funny, like people come up to us and like ask for an autograph, like talk to her, just like walk and like follow us in malls and like it's funny. I met them when I was in high school, my close friends now. And yeah, at that time they were kinda like, oh you're the uh, you're the actor chick, but it was a phase and now they are friends with me for who I am, not because I'm an actor, which I love. My name's Lauren. <laughs> Lauren 
Jordan's very good at balancing the work and her social life. Can I have a small twist, please? She, her work is very important to her, so she makes sure that she gets everything done and learns her lines on time, but she also makes time for her friends. She balances work, her work, and her school, uh, and her friends very well. Uh, she always has time for us, and she'll, al she'll always be there for her friends whenever she needs it. It doesn't matter about the show. All right, well, it wasn't a crazy shopping day, but it was nice weather to stroll around Kensington. And let's uh, show off what we bought. We all went a little bead, bead crazy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, girls. <laughs> Peak and eating spelt and I'll have to perform an exorcism to get my hazel back. Everything in my life right now, it's it's really at a high point. I'm so happy with how the show is going and just how everything seems to be falling into place. My big goal is a feature film, which I would love to do more than anything. And if the acting thing doesn't work out, I'm really interested in law. Uh, and maybe entertainment law, because like I said, I need to have this business as part of my life. <laughs> so that would be pretty fun, and my parents say I'd be a good lawyer. I don't know. <laughs>